Okay, so there appears to be a pretty significant dump going on right now. Wow, but this is an opportunity. So to start it right off, let's just look at XRP here down to $1.36. That is treacherous. Holy smoke. So Bitcoin is leading the... <laughs> oh God, look at that. Yeah, that's why. Oh boy, this is significant. Bitcoin has just broken the 200 EMA on the four hour chart. That's ugly. Okay, so I'm wondering as it touched down all the way down here near 55, 54,500, if we're going to get a bounce and get snatched back up to this 200 EMA line. That's what I'm going to be watching for. Holy cow, that is interesting. So Loom uh, is taking a pretty significant hit. And this is out of the clear blue because this did not come with any indication, any prior indication. Look at this candle there. That is pretty nasty. And again, we are below the 200 EMA. That is a warning sign for me. That's when I start to pay attention. Okay, so moving right along, MANA was one of the biggest hits that I see. Look at the size of that candle. Ridiculous. Oh my goodness. That is just nasty. Uh, we were peaked out up above. Uh, where is the price? Let me scrunch this down so I can see it. We were above $1.60 and now we're sitting at $1.24. But the good thing is MANA is still above the 50 EMA and well above the 200 EMA. So not quite as bad on MANA. So moving right along, let's just look at some of the other nastier ones. The graph, which was, oh, oh, the... <laughs> That that's ugly. I got to put my face on here for this. So you can see my reactions. That's ugly. OK, th this is disgusting. Uh, hmm. Well, uh, when you see something like this happen where we just completely let the bottom drop out of the MACD and it's outside of this nice smooth line. Do you see this smooth line? There we go. And then, boom, we go straight down something's going on. That's a red alert right there. If that's any indication of more ugliness to come, we are almost double below the 200 EMA on the graph. That's bad. Oh man. Okay. So let's just move right along. Key, self key, which is one of my favorites. Uh, big fat red candle and it just fell off. It touched the 200 EMA, which I thought we were going to get a bounce here like this. It did the opposite. Oh, my goodness. And I was going to be going on a buying spree today. I'm glad I did not. I've been busy and didn't get a chance to jump on and start buying. In fact, I've been buying NFTs instead. So I guess that was money well spent. So let's just move right along. Now, this one hurts right here because I bought into Xcur just a few days ago at $10. Look at that. Disgusting. Oh, that really hurts. So when this hits a bottom, it's going to be dollar cost average time. If we hit five bucks, if we were so lucky to hit five bucks, I'm going to double the bag and double down because that's what you got to do. You play these when these opportunities arise. Oh, B Pro. I was ready to get B Pro because it was primed for a breakout. And even though the red candle is not as bad, we see that it's going against the grain because this stochastic was worn on its way up like so. And this nice MACD was winding up on the histogram to a zero. And I thought it was going to do this. And looky, looky, it is doing the opposite. Okay, so let's jump right back here and move right along. Um, holy smoke. So anchor sitting at 15 cents. Wow. Oh, that's that that's a red candle for us, folks. That's that's a that's quite a dip there. Uh, let's see who else is taking a significant hit. Sharing is at 6.9 cents. VThor. I've been waiting on VThor to jump back in. And as you can see, it has now touched the top of my green strike zone box. This I put here to let me know that if I got lucky enough to bring prices down to that level, that I would jump in. But I'm going to have to wait and see how far this thing goes down. We might get a, a bounce. It could be a shakeout because everyone has been talking about all hypercycle, all hypercycle. Everyone's been running their mouth. Look at Harmony One. <laughs> oh, Harmony One. <laughs>
That's not harmony, is it? That's what you call a big fat fail. And it's still going. Okay, harmony looking disgusting. I should live I should live stream this and just watch it uh, unfold. Zilliqa at 18 cents, amp at 5.4 cents. Uh, Doge, all you Doge people, what are you gonna do now that you see that okay, it's not it, it's it's falling as we speak, 25 cents. All you people who are looking forward to this prediction that Doge would hit a dollar by 420. Whenever people make ridiculous predictions and just call something like that and say it's going to hit a significant amount at us an exact certain date, that's when you got to start to wonder about who you're listening to. Um, let's see here. Telcoin is looking pretty nice at 6.6 .6 after this big fat red candle. Very nice. I should have bought... Telcoin at 0 0.003 when I had my first notion. Good thing I didn't. Look at Filecoin coming down, dropping it like it's hot. Look at that, folks. Would you just look at it? Sometimes you just got to look at it. Holy macaroni. So OMG, $7.35 banned. $15.79 getting a big fat sock in the face with this nice dive below the 200 period. E-M-A line. That is just, oh boy. Okay, so RSR. Oh, RSR. You just got smacked in the face and it is now below the 200 EMA line. All right. And this goes to show whenever you think that everything, all indications are just straight up and the market's only going to go straight up, that's when you need to start casting a shadow of a doubt and keep it in your mind that anything can happen and you can have a dump out of nowhere. Now, something's going on and I do not know yet what it is, but please let me know if you have any idea of what is behind this dump. Look at, oh, oh, and it's still going. Oh boy, chain link. Somebody took the link out of that chain and it's flopping on the ground, dragging behind the truck. Good Lord, how about that? Hmm, okay, like, oh, Litecoin. What are you doing? What are you doing? 300 down to 243 and going, headed towards the 200 line. All right, it hasn't touched it yet, but with the NASA, oh, look at this. You see, that's just, that's exactly what you need to understand. Technical analysis can give you an idea of what's happening when everything, all things are equal, right? Nice little smooth oscillating line, then it just took a dump out of nowhere, okay? So this should be, a this is a lesson. Let's just call this a lesson learned. Take a look at ETH. Oh, ETH is trying to catch up with Bitcoin. It has already touched the 200 moving average 200 period moving average and it could be violating that maybe it'll bounce on that i'm going to watch eth because eth might lead the way and let us know when this is going to stop when the bleeding will stop so i'm going to end this here but let me know if you have any idea of what is going on this is carlton flowers your crypto pro and i'm out mm -hmm.